Hello. Today I'd like to talk about uh, an effective hair allergy removal tool that's been used. Um, what I'm talking about is the Fluconazole. Uh, it is a very effective green hair algae removal tool. I used it in my tank about a month ago. I dosed it. I didn't change the water for about a month and just let it kind of run through and do its thing. Now, if you take a look at some of my coral videos, you can see all the hair algae and kind of a brown stuff all in the rocks and everything else. It's just basically the tank was just, the rock was gross. Uh, I admit it, it was just gross looking. So here's what the tank looks like a month afterwards. You can clearly see there, you got still got the coralline, you got the corals going good, fish doing well. But if you look here, there is not a single trace anywhere that I've been able to find of green hair algae. So, all these areas here had some pieces of hair algae that were, you know, two to three inches long in some cases. So anyways, this is a very effective tool. You can see it right there. I used to have a bunch of hair algae behind that coral. So anyways, it's a very effective tool for uh, getting rid of green hair algae. Uh, I've tried snails. I've tried other types of chemical dosings. I've tried reduced feedings, uh, blackout or whatever. But of course, it just keeps coming back. But um, at this point, the fluconazole has definitely proven by far the most effective as far as just wiping out green hair algae in my tank. So for those of you who are just kind of at wit's end with green hair algae, I would recommend looking at it. If you do not have access to the fluconazole, I would recommend uh, taking a look at a site like Bulk Reef Supply because they actually have it specifically there. Um, a lot of times it's a prescription medication because it's actually uses for something else. Uh, I'll let a lady tell you what that's for, but uh, yeah, ironically, I don't know who came up with the idea, but apparently it is incredibly effective at destroying green hair algae and related members of the family. It won't necessarily hurt your corals. Uh, I did notice I did lose some snails in the process, so be aware of that. It isn't, you know, it's, it's probably not really going to affect your corals a whole lot, your fish your whole lot, but it might affect some of your snails in the process. Um, so just be prepared for that, but in my opinion, it's a fair trade, you know, because you could spend $100 on cleanup crew with snails and still not have them do what fluconazole can do in a month. Uh, at a cost of about, I don't know, 15 to $30. So anyway, um, as mentioned, you can get it from Bulk Reef Supply if you cannot find it anywhere else. So, uh, but anyways, that's just kind of how my tanks ended up coming out. I've been really happy with the results. Uh, it just clean rock, which before was really covered and I'd have to scrub it with a toothbrush about every week or two and um, I'm just done with fighting that so done a really good job and I'm very pleased with the results and that's all I've got and thanks for watching